In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Solver to determine which projects to accept when capital is constrained. So let's say your company has 20 different projects it can choose from, and each of those projects has a net present value, or NPV, greater than zero. In theory, a company should accept all positive NPV projects. But here's the problem. Accepting all 20 projects would require an upfront investment of $3.775 million. And the company only has $2.5 million in cash. Thus, we need to choose which of these 20 projects to accept. In short, we need to find the combination of projects that's going to result in the highest total MPV. And Solver can help us do this. First, make sure you have the Solver add-in installed. To install Solver, click on File, and then click where it says Options, and then click where it says Add-ins. You can see Solver right here. Now, I already have Solver installed, so I'm just going to move on. After you've installed Solver, make sure you're in the Data tab up here, and then click where it says Solver over here. Where it says Set Objective, you're gonna click the cell that you wanna maximize, which in this case is this cell right here, which is the net present value of all the projects the company's accepting. Do you see how Max is checked right here? We're gonna leave that checked because we're asking Excel to find the combination of all these different projects that would result in the highest total net present value. Where it says by changing variable cells, I'm gonna type in the word accept because that's the name I've given to this range of cells right here. Alternatively, instead of typing in the name of the range, if you haven't given the range a name, you could just highlight the cells. Note that each cell in this range has a value of zero or one. Zeros are assigned to projects that are being rejected, whereas ones are assigned to projects that are being accepted. We're gonna ask Excel to change these values until it comes up with a portfolio of projects that results in the highest total net present value. Now to the right of where it says subject to the constraints, you wanna click add. We're gonna add two constraints. First, we're gonna say that the total cash outflow in year zero must be less than or equal to the total cash available in year zero. We can't invest money we don't have, so that's why we're adding this constraint. We're asking Excel to maximize the total MPV given that we only have two and a half million to invest. Next, we're gonna tell Excel that the values in the accept range must be binary. You can type in the name of the range, which is accept, or you can just highlight the range here. Click over here, select BIN, and then click OK. You can see the two constraints that we've added right here. Now we're ready to click solve. If you take a look at these values here, you'll see that Excel is telling us to accept every single project except for project 14 and project 20. This results in a total MPV of $426,286, which is the best we can do given that we only have $2.5 million upfront to invest. Accepting project 20 would make our total MPV even higher, but we can't afford it. We're projected to invest 2,475,000, and project 20 would require an additional million, which would take us over our limit. Thus, Solver has identified the projects that'll maximize our total MPV given our financial constraint. This is an example of constrained optimization. We want the highest total MPV, but we only have so much money to invest. And that's it. If you'd like to download the spreadsheet I used in this video, you can sign up for my email list using the link in the description section below. Or to access the spreadsheet immediately, you can become a supporter on Patreon.